Top 20 Maintenance Worker Interview Questions and Answers To ensure that your machines, buildings, and mechanical equipment are maintained and fixed properly, you need to hire the right maintenance worker, but identifying the most qualified candidate requires thorough preparation. This includes determining the areas to assess during the interview. This can be time-consuming and complicated, particularly if you don't know what the role involves. But it doesn't have to be so, as we have done the legwork for you. Here are the top maintenance worker interview questions and answers. 1. Why do you want to work with our company? The interviewer asks this question to know why you are interested in working with the company. Tip number 1. State what draws you to the company. Tip number 2. Be sincere and direct with your response. Sample answer. I want to be part of this company because it has a reputation for offering innovative products and services across the region. I believe that I have gained significant experience working in a leading company like this. Besides, your company is famous for developing its employees to offer even better services. 2. What roles do maintenance workers perform? Here, the interviewer seeks to know whether you are familiar with your roles as a maintenance worker. Tip number 1. State at least three roles performed by maintenance workers. Tip number 2. Give the impression that you are familiar with your roles. Sample answer. A maintenance worker inspects different equipment and premises, performs preventive maintenance, and handles basic repairs when needed. He or she oversees contractors that perform professional repairs, applies fixes to building systems and equipment, and makes sure that facilities are functional and tidy. Installing and servicing equipment and appliances are other roles as well. 3. What duties do maintenance workers perform? Here the interviewer wants to assess your familiarity with the duties performed by a maintenance worker. Tip number 1. State several duties done by maintenance workers. Tip number 2. Show that you are familiar with your responsibilities. Sample answer. A maintenance worker paints or fixes roofs, performs drywall repairs, repairs broken or workout parts, and builds partitions. Other duties performed by maintenance workers are repairing and maintaining specialized equipment and inspecting mechanical parts to identify any faults. 4. What skills should a maintenance worker have to work effectively? This question tests whether you understand the skills that maintenance workers need to be successful in their work. Tip number 1. Mention at least three skills that maintenance workers should have. Tip number 2. Be prompt with your answer to prove your understanding. Sample answer. To work effectively, a maintenance worker should have basic calculation skills and the ability to lift maintenance tools and objects and move them where they are needed. He or she should have basic plumbing repair skills and be able to understand oral and written instructions. A good maintenance worker should also know how to handle different tools and understand safety practices in the maintenance industry. 5. How do you deal with homeowners who are overly nosy and cautious when you're working? The interviewer seeks to understand how you handle clients who fear that their property might be ruined further while it's being worked on. Tip number one, describe how you work despite issues or fears from clients. Tip number two, show that you can manage clients' feelings during maintenance work. Sample answer, it's frustrating when a client makes it hard to get the job done, but I overcome such by explaining what I'm doing including its benefits that takes away any fear and prevents interruptions from a client. Six. How do you stay current and remain relevant in your industry? The questioner wants to know how you stay current on new trends and developments in the maintenance industry. Tip number one, state ways you stay up to date in your field. Tip number two, be honest and clear. Sample answer, I attend workshops on woodworking or electrical work where new trends in the industry are discussed. I read a lot about the changes and trends happening in the maintenance field. I also participate in online group discussions on maintenance work. 7. How important is it to follow safety guidelines as you work? The interviewer asks this question to know whether you uphold safety guidelines while on the job. Tip number 1. Mention how you uphold safety guidelines. Tip number 2. Show that you are keen on safety. Sample answer. Safety always comes first when I'm working. I make sure to adhere to laid out safety guidelines while working. I also review questionable things or areas of the guidelines to avoid accidents and risky situations. 8. What method do you prefer when diagnosing problems during maintenance checks? This question tests the approach you use when diagnosing issues. Employers do not want someone who will waste time and money when making repairs. Tip number 1. State the method you use to diagnose problems. Tip number 2. Show that you can quickly identify problems and address them. 
Sample answer. I do not stick entirely to one approach. Whenever a maintenance request is made, I begin by inquiring about the problem from the person in question. This helps particularly when something wasn't included in the report. Then, I try out a couple of options to identify problems. 9. What do you do with maintenance issues you can't solve? Your ability to deal with issues you cannot solve tells the interviewer a lot about your reliability and how efficient you can work. Tip number 1. Mention how you deal with problems you can't solve. Tip number 2. Show that you can appropriately address difficult issues. Sample answer. If I come across a problem that I can't sort out on time or one that I cannot solve, I make sure to be upfront with the client concerning it. The difficulty of a problem influences what I do or go next. But this basically involves asking for help from relevant to the individual or department. 10. How do you handle difficult situations at work? The interviewer wants to know whether you can effectively handle difficult situations. Tip number one, describe the way you handle hard situations. Tip number two, give the impression that you can deal with difficult circumstances at work. Sample answer. I begin by review difficult situations to understand them effectively. Then, I break down the issue into simple and manageable elements. Doing so makes the problem much easier to handle. As such, I tackle the simple elements individually. In the end, the entire issue is resolved. 11. What do you understand by HVAC? The interviewer asks this question to know whether you are familiar with this acronym. Tip number one. State what HVAC stands for. Tip number two. Show that you are familiar with this concept. Sample answer. HVAC means heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. It is having cooling and heating within homes and proper ventilation to keep away mildew and mold, as well as increase the quality of air in the home ecosystem. 12. What are some challenging conditions that maintenance workers have to put up with at work? Here, the interviewer seeks to understand whether you are familiar with challenging conditions that maintenance workers have to put up with at work. Tip number one, name several hard conditions that you are likely to work under. Tip number two, be precise and direct with your answer. Sample answer. Maintenance workers work in various challenging conditions like under low temperatures, bad weather messy areas, or physically exhausting and distressing circumstances. Sometimes they work in risky places such as at high heights or use electrical wires or appliances with high voltage. 13. What potential risks are you likely to face as a maintenance worker? Maintenance and repair work poses certain risks to workers. This question tests whether you know these risks. Tip number one, name some risks that repair workers face. Tip number two, make sure to provide a complete and correct answer. Sample answer. One potential risk is faulty electrical that might electrocute a worker if he or she is not equipped with the right attire and tools. Another threat is lifting heavy equipment, such as metal objects that haven't been maintained or inspected for long. These objects can cause fatal accidents. Slippery floors, slipping and tripping, sharp tools and nails scattered all over, and uncovered holes or other potential hazards. 14. State some precaution measures that maintenance workers should take at the working site. The questioner seeks to know whether you are familiar with the necessary safety precautions when working. Tip number one. State the safety measure you should ensure at the working site. Tip number two. Demonstrate your familiarity with the necessary safety precautions. Sample answer. Maintenance workers should make sure that the workplace is adequately ventilated. They should ensure that passageways, floors, and aisles are clear and free from all types of hazards. Safe operation should be guaranteed by clearing all unnecessary objects where maintenance work is going on. 15. What factors can result in psychological stress for maintenance workers? Certain factors at work may lead to stress and other psychological risks. The interviewer seeks to know if you are aware of such factors. Tip number one. Mention some factors that result in stress. Tip number two. Give a clear and correct answer. Sample answer. Some factors that may lead to stress include working in poorly managed settings, lack of decision-making skills, lack of role clarity, and having an excessive workload. Psychological stress can also occur because of working overtime for long, being harassed psychologically by your boss, and conflicting demands. 16. What motivates you as a maintenance worker? 
The interviewer uses this question to know the thing that motivates you in maintenance work. Tip number one, mention what inspires you about maintenance work. Tip number two, show that you are motivated about what you do. Sample answer, becoming successful by achieving my goals and everything I do inspires me a lot. I am always happy when I rectify a problem and make the equipment functional again. Besides, it gives me the joy to help people resume their normal lives after repairing parts of their premises that were limiting them from doing certain things. 17. Explain three recent repair and maintenance incidents you have worked on. The interviewer uses this question to evaluate your level of experience in tackling repair and maintenance work. Tip number one. Describe three recent repair works you have handled. Tip number two. Be honest and give a complete answer. Sample answer. First, I recently sealed several wall cracks that appeared on one side of the store building. An epoxy repair kit came in very handy. Second, a roof leaking incident was experienced in one of the company offices. I was called upon to fix the issues and I did it expertly using caulk. Lastly, service was due for one of the binding equipment at one of our subsidiaries. I serviced it and made it to operate optimally again. 18. What are your strengths? Here the interviewer seeks to know the abilities related to this job that will benefit the employer. Tip number one, mention some of your strengths that relate to the job. Tip number two, be sincere and go straight to the point. Sample answer. I possess certain strengths that make me stand out as a maintenance worker. I am a problem solver. I adopt a solution-oriented approach when solving every problem. Besides, I am loyal, hardworking, self-inspired, and can work under pressure. 19. How do you find out about our company? The employer wants to hire an individual who is excited about the position or one who is specific in his or her job hunt. Tip number one. Mention how you came to know about the company. Tip number two. Show that you were intentional about finding the job. Sample answer. Lately, I have been actively looking for a new job. I have been specific in terms of where I want to work. Your company is on my list of the companies I want to work for. So I went to your website specifically in search of a job opening and found the advert for this job. 20. What does carpentry maintenance work involve? A maintenance worker should be familiar with different forms of repairs, including those relating to carpentry. Tip number one. State what carpentry maintenance work involves. Tip number two. Let the interviewer know that you are conversant with carpentry repairs. Sample answer. Carpentry maintenance involves installing walls, doors, and partitions, as well as cutting and shaping materials such as drywall, fiberglass, and wood manually or using power tools. It also entails inspecting wooden structures and replacing doors, wall sidings, and floors. Conclusion Interviews can be daunting, but preparing and practicing using these questions and answers can help candidates to overcome pre-interview jitters. Besides, interviewers can use this list to know what to ask and the right responses to expect. Ultimately, they can depend on these questions and answers to identify the best candidate.